Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to set up X Render if you have a multi monitor display. So, pretty much what I have here is I have a script that scales up my 1080p displays uh, to basically act like 4K displays. And the trick here is that you need to position them to the left of each other. So, like this. Or should I say, you have to position them to the right of each other. So, as you can see, uh, my first display, the DVI D0, I scale it up by two and I position it at position zero, zero on the frame buffer. Then what I do is I keep my 4K display. Actually, I should just show you how this is. So visually, if you were to look at my desk right now, you would see two displays like this. So I have one display, then I have another one. And then I have another one, which is between the two. So kind of kind of like this. So so what I have is I have this display, I have a 4K display here, and I have a 1080p display here. So this is a 1080p display. This is 4K, and this is 1080p. Um, now the trick with um, X Render is you would want to scale up these the, this display. So this display and this is display you want to scale them up by two so when you scale up a 1080p display it basically becomes equivalent to uh, a 4k display so pretty much just a 4k display so it's pretty much a 4k display virtually so let me just do it here now what you are going to need to do is you're going to need to calculate both the vertical so i guess like this so the vertical and the horizontal and the horizontal width of your frame buffer, right? So if you have a 1080p display and then you have a 4K display and then you have a 1080p display here and keep in mind you're scaling up your 1080p display. So you're scaling up these two 1080p displays to work with a 4K display. What you are going to need to do is you need to calculate. Okay, so if I scale these up, what is going to be my maximum width and my maximum height on the frame buffer? So if we do this, let's see. So let's say calculate the maximum height. So the maximum height is going to be 1080p times 2. So on a 1080p display, if you multiply the height by 2, you get um, 2160. And on a 4K display, natively, the height is 2160. So you don't need to do anything for this. So your vertical... Um, so the maximum vertical pixels you're going to be using is going to be 1060. Now, keep in mind, this is if you have, um, I should put it, if all of your displays are horizontal like this, if all of your displays are horizontal like this, then the maximum is going to be uh, 2160. And the reason for that is because they're all horizontal like this. And because of that, so the maximum size your frame buffer is going to be vertically is 2160 pixels. Uh, now, horizontally, that's a different story. And that's a different story because you have to add up, let's say, this display with this display and then with this display. So pretty much what we get here is, so 920 times 2 times 3. So your horizontal resolution is going to be 11,520. So this is if you want to do a traditional, all of your monitors are horizontal. But for example, if you want to, let's say, rotate like this, right? If you want to rotate one monitor vertically, then it's a different, it's a, something different. So what you want to calculate now is going to be what is going to be the maximum vertical resolution? Well, if you have a 1080p display and then you multiply it by two, so if you scale it up by two, then the maximum horizontal, not horizontal, the maximum vertical resolution is going to be 920, oops, 920 times two. So your maximum vertical resolution is going to be uh, 3,840. So let's copy this, delete this, and paste it here. Okay, maybe we should make this a little bigger. So your frame buffer's maximum vertical resolution is going to be 3,840. 
<laughs> so let's uh, calculate the horizontal resolution. So the horizontal resolution is going to be 1080 times 2 plus 920 times 2 times 2. Now, the reason for this is because if this monitor here, the horizontal resolution now, when you align it vertically, is going to be uh, 1080 times 2. So, so assume you align it vertically, and then you scale it up by 2. So what we get is we get the horizontal resolution, which is going to be 1080 by times 2, plus we get the 4K display here. So we get the 4K display here, which is just 920 times 2. And because we have two of these, we have uh, one which is a native 4K display. And then we have the second one, which is... So the second one, which is just a virtual 4K display. Uh, what we are doing is we're multiplying 920 by 2. So this is just scaling it up and then multiplying it by 2 because we have two of these. So now your horizontal resolution is going to be 9,840. Now that you have that, what you can do is you go, you can go back to your script. Where's my script? Okay. So you can go back to your script and just plug those numbers in for the X axis and for the Y axis. So again, your frame buffer is going to be after you scale up your monitor, after you rotate it and after you, you know, do all the fancy stuff, what is going to be your maximum resolution? So again, if you have three monitors and you want to, let's say, um, if you want to rotate it like this, and then you want to rotate this one like this, and let's say uh, these are all 4K, or should I say these are all like virtually 4K, uh, you can even make this a little fun and just say, okay, so this is going to be a virtual 4K monitor, this is going to be a 1080p monitor. So what do we do here? We're going to calculate the horizontal and the vertical resolutions of this. So the vertical resolution is going to stay the same. So the vertical resolution is going to be 3840 simply because if you have one 4K display here and you have one 4K display here, or should I say if you have a 4K display here and a 4K display here and they're vertically aligned, even though this is a 1080p display, it still is going to require your maximum frame buffer, um, your maximum vertical frame buffer is still going to be uh, 3,840 pixels, but your horizontal resolution is going to change. So your horizontal resolution is going to be 1080p plus 920 times 2 times 2, or should I say, actually, no, it's going to be 1080 times 2 times 2. So now your horizontal resolution is going to be 5,400. Um, 5, so I just change it like this. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Anyways, let's get back to the script. Okay, so what's next? So pretty much the next thing that you need to understand about the script is that the position argument. So the position argument is basically telling you where on the frame buffer are you placing this uh, display or this output. And uh, let's say, um, let's go back to this. So let's say the first display, I'm putting it, I don't know, like at the beginning here, right? And then at the next display, this one, I want to put it directly to the right of this display. So this display is to the right of this display. So what we need to do is we need to calculate how many pixels over do I have to move this display in order for it to rest here? And the way you do that is fairly simple. You just say, okay, so 1080p, this is a 1080p display. Uh, this isn't like scaled up or anything. This is just a 1080p display. What I want to do is I want to move, um, I want to move this 4K display over so that it's not overlapping with this 1080p display. And all you have to do is you just have to say, okay, so I want to move so the pause here, so on the x-axis, we would move uh, 
So on the x-axis, what we would do is we would just say, okay, move this over by 1080 x0. So what we're doing is we're moving the display over by 1080 pixels uh, to the right. And then for the second display, or should I say for the third display, what we are going to do is we're going to say, okay, so we want to move this over. So assume it begins here. How many pixels do we have to move it over for it to like sit here? And to basically, and basically for it to sit here, what we have to do is we have to add 1080 plus So we have to move it over by 3,240 pixels and it will rest right here. So if we have a display which is aligned, let's say like this, then what we would do is we would say, okay, so we're gonna move this over by 1,800 pixels plus 920 times two. So this is the width of the second display. And then we are moving over by 4,920 pixels. So this display is going to be the, the argument to this position here is going to be So we're going to tell the script to move over the display by 4,920 pixels. And I think the final thing about the script that may confuse you, but it really shouldn't, is this rotate option. So if you want to, you can rotate your monitor to the left, you can rotate to the right. Um, you can specify which monitor is the primary monitor. So I just have dash dash primary, uh, primary here because this is the center display I have. Um, yeah, so there's, that's pretty much it. And if you want to know why I have it set up the way I do is because The way that my monitor is set up is like this. I have a 1080p display here, which is just virtually a 4K display. And I have another 1080p display, which is just virtually a 4K display as well. And the horizontal resolution for these monitors is... So the horizontal resolution for these monitors is 1080p times two times two plus... 20 times 2. So as you can see, the maximum horizontal resolution is 8160, as I have here right here. And my maximum vertical resolution is 3840. And that is because that is because this vertical monitor, um, when you flip it over and you scale it up by two, it basically becomes a 4K monitor. And what happens is the maximum vertical resolution becomes 3,840. 3, Let me just uh, modify this. 8,160. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's my X-Render script. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me and I will see you later.